motivated and, and, and doesn't really have the drive to do what he needs to do in the speed that I'd like to see him do on mornings like this, Lainey, if I can dance around what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I understand for sure. And yeah, muddy paws on top of that. Take a look at Winston-Salem where you see the gray skies. And of course, we had some rain in the triad for the most part. And as we look ahead toward tonight, we've got some wet weather lingering in the triad and maybe in the eastern foothills. But most of this is over for the mountains and foothills who could have some isolated thunder still. And we've had one storm that just rolled through Guilford and Rockingham counties. Then we've got a straight shower chance returning to the forecast, but not until Sunday. So we've got some time between now and then. And also the temperatures are going to go up between now and then. They've been kind of low today. Gloomy day, wet day, temps in the low 50s right now in the triad. But notice it's warmer north and west, and that's where we've actually seen some breaks in the clouds. Places like Mount Airy and Wilkesboro. Now we are going to have breaks in the clouds for all tomorrow. Right now we've still got to deal with some rain that is moving over the same areas here in the triad. There's that lightning just south of Danville right now. Still some light rain showers from Reedsville to Yanceyville. Another round here building to the south near High Rock Lake coming in over Davidson County. So that will cross over 64, work its way up 85. And yes, perhaps uh, through Guilford County here in the next hour or so. Rainfall totals have been highest in the east, about three quarters of an inch. And then as you move north and west, lesser amounts. And you can see that axis of heavy rain kind of shaping up right now from Columbia up toward Raleigh and actually they're anticipating potentially some flooding rains over eastern North Carolina for the remainder of today and into the day tomorrow. Those rainfall totals will be quite high with these areas of low pressure that are going to be tracking right over those areas. So easily an inch, possibly more than three inches in some of those communities. And we're on that back edge. So I do think Davidson County, Randolph County, Alamance County, you're going to see some of the higher totals may still get another half of an inch on top of what you've already seen and then lesser amounts over the western part of the triad. This is through tonight. We continue to have some wet weather in the eastern triad even overnight and early tomorrow morning. So we're going to keep that rain chance in. Everyone else, maybe a spotty shower or some patchy drizzle, but we are drying out as we go through the day tomorrow. I do think we'll have some sunshine by afternoon and temperatures should approach 60 degrees. It is going to be windy. Winds out of the north at 10 to 25 miles an hour as we do dry things out. Highs in the upper 50s, close to 60 in the foothills. Also windy. Northwest wind 10 to 20 miles an hour. Windy conditions in the mountains with highs in the low 50s, mostly sunny skies. Next weather system is this one that is just offshore there of Seattle, and it will be moving our way by the end of the weekend. So it is warm and dry on Friday with sunshine, temps in the 60s. Saturday, going to be a nice day with high temperatures that are going to be in the 70s, but you notice that rain not too far to our north, and we have added a small chance of a shower to Easter Sunday. That is mainly late day. But those high temperatures, they are great in the upper 70s for the weekend and early next week.